What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jigger the Star Barber. And man, I got a transformation here for you. My client is going to get a Timber Fade. But the thing about this Timber Fade, as you can see, it's, it's really fluffy, big curls. Uh, it's coarse, but it's also wavy. So you just can't go in there and attack it. You just really had to just take your time and just cut the hair down little by little. So right now, I'm just gonna go between the two and one A just to try to knock some of the bulk out um, just to see where I want to start with, uh, I guess I'm just going to start with my temple fade. And as you see, I knocked out the, the bulk a little bit and I'm going to take the double O and just start making my first line to where I want to start the fade and see how I want to attack the rest of this temple fade. So with my OA, I'm just going to just start cutting and flicking out. So I don't want to go in and, and create another hard line. So I'm just going to take and go in and cut and flick out. Cut and comb, cut and comb. Keeping an eye on the wave and the curl at the same time. Um, and still... As I go higher up into the fade, I'm just going to go and use a bigger and bigger guard to stay, you know, to be safe, to be sure that I'm just not going to uh, overcut and create uh, another hard line for me to try to fade out. Okay, now, so at this point, I see how I want to attack the fade. I see where I want to begin. And I'm just going to go back to my double O and just start the fade, flicking outward, adjusting the lever, uh, closed and open, adjusting to the, the O and the OA, and just keep going back and forth trying to find a medium where the fade is going to be nice and blended.
So with the masses closed, I'm going to create my first line. Um, but the hair is so long that when I comb it back down, the hair is going to overlap that line. Now with the 1A, I'm going to start removing a lot of the bulk. And by removing the bulk, it's creating a second line. And I also see where the swirls that he has in the neck area. And with the number two guard, I'll just blend that second line out. The good thing about the swirls being in the neck area, you can take that fade really close and it's just going to look real natural. You can either bald it or just take it real close. In this situation, I'm just going to just make it a really close uh, light taper. And by using the double O and the O, uh, I'm just going to go back and forth, feathering the back out, uh, flicking the clippers out, up and out, up and out. So I will not create another or a hard line, and then it would be very difficult to be getting that line out, um, especially with this type of hair, this coarse, wavy, curly type hair. It would be very, very difficult if you go into it and you don't flick the clippers out to give you that feathery look.
So, as you see, I'm going to start the shape up. But the reason for this shape up is going to have two meanings. For one, I like to, you know, create my first line and make any adjustments in my line for my for my second for when I'm going over it. Um, I'm also putting this line in so I can actually see where I need to make the adjustments for the for the fade because with the by doing the outline, it also shows you where you can um, do more detailing into the taper, the taper areas. Like I said, so now I go back over the front, um, get any hair that's overlapping the hairline uh, to make sure if I want to take the fade back or lighter or whatever adjustments I need to make just because I'll put that first line in and I can go always make my adjustments from there. And as you see, throw a little enhancement in there to help bring out the outline and, you know, make it nice and, make it nice and neat and, and, and looking sharp. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.